everybody, this is Ellie. Thanks so much for joining me today for a video where I share my planner tote and what I keep in it. I hope you'll bear with me. This type of video is new for me, but I will do my best and hopefully learn for next time. I've been using a tote since I found the planner community and I've used one from Michaels for about two years. It was great. I loved it. It just turned out <laughs> I outgrew it. So for my birthday this year, I got this guy here, which is quite a bit bigger than the Michaels tote. I will put up a picture so that you can see the difference. But basically, I knew that I was going to be moving to A5 sizes and I just wanted more space and options. The Michaels tote is also compartmentalized, whereas my new tote has dividers that come out and can be configured more flexibly. There are pros and cons to both of those and I will briefly touch on them. But first I'll show you my new tote, my current tote, which I've used for about two months now and am loving. So I first saw this on a video by Sarah Martinez, which I will link up above. And I loved how she was using it and I had messaged her to see if she was happy with how hers was holding up and she was. So I asked for this for my birthday. I got this from amazon.com. I am in Canada, but I couldn't find it here or maybe the price was extremely high. So whatever the reason was, it made more sense to order it from amazon.com and I was totally happy with that. So it has two pretty sturdy handles, which is good because this thing is heavy. This is the brand here, Homist maybe? I'm not sure how you're supposed to say that. So I'll just do a quick spin. And like I said, the inside here is all one big space. And in each of the four quadrants, there is a mesh pocket, which I will hopefully be able to show you in more detail when we get into the specific compartments. I will say having these kind of removable pads is really nice in terms of flexibility. Like now I could have this entire side open, but it does mean that when you are using them as dividers or walls, they're a little bit flimsy. Like they don't, it might have never come off or anything like that, but they don't feel permanent. They don't feel super sturdy. For me and what I need, that is a very small trade-off, but it was definitely noticeable after coming from the Michaels tote, which had all of the dividers built in. I love using a tote because I don't always love to plan in my room, which is the setup that you're seeing here. I like to be able to plan downstairs, in front of the TV, outside in the summer, and I really wanted a way to easily transport whatever I needed. And I had tried a few different setups in my old tote, and what I realized is that I kind of wanted this guy to function as my desk. And by that, I mean I wanted to carry all of the supplies that I used the most often in here. This sits right by my desk on a rolling cart from Michaels. If you guys are interested in seeing a video on kind of my desk and drawers setup, it is nothing exciting. You can already see a good chunk of it here, but if you are interested, you can let me know and I can try and film it. But this does sit right by my desk. I can reach it from my chair and this is where I keep the stuff that I am in daily and might want to play around with at any moment. So I'm going to start with the inside compartments. So I have it sitting perpendicular to my desk like this, and this is the direction. So my systems here are in the first compartment. So I have my A5 bullet journal, which obviously I'm in multiple times a day. I keep my Hobonichi cousin and this Lauren Phelps Designs pencil board in here because I love to be able to play and decorate and journal when the mood strikes. 
and I also keep my morning pages in here. This is a Zequenz B6 notebook right now. It is also in a Lauren Phelps design clear cover. It's a little big, but it does the job just fine. So sometimes in the morning, I will want to sit outside or just take this whole thing down to do my morning routine. So that is why I keep those three notebooks in here. I do have other setups that I obviously don't keep in here, and that's just because I only work on them at specific points in the day or the month. So they just stay on my desk or in my drawer. Things like my five-year journal, my medical setup, and I think there's a couple my long-term collections. Like those aren't things that I'm in every day, so they don't need to be here in this tote. So in terms of the mesh pockets, let me see if I can get a better angle. Okay, I'm trying to adjust the lighting, sorry about this, but there's a mesh pocket and it's the exact same in all four quadrants. So what's in the pockets isn't organized by what's in kind of the middle space, it's just whatever slipped in. So I just have some pencil crayons in here. This is an old tin that I got from Amazon and I have some Arteza colors in here. I've used the How to Doodle Almost Every Day book on this channel before, and I will link it, but the author illustrator camo has a color palette picked out. So I've gone through my supplies and I have that color palette picked out with the Arteza colored pencils and also with my Crayola Super Tips, which are what is in this mesh pocket. So this next section is my writing supplies and some accessories. So I have this Deldi pouch, which I'm sure you've seen before. I also got this for my birthday. This pouch is absolutely perfect because when I am at my desk, I just pull the whole thing out and sit it down and it stays right beside me and I can see everything that I need. So in here, I have my Tombos of the month that I'm using. I have a couple of pencils. I have three pencils. I guess I can take some of those out. A couple of erasers. Yeah, I see that uh, things have been consolidating in here. I have fine liners, another highlighter, a bunch more pens. Yeah, everything has doubled up in here. That's fine. I, I clearly I just took it as it was. I didn't uh, do anything special for this video. Sorry about the shadows. Anyways. I have my Hobonichi ruler. There's a little pocket in here. Where is it? On this side. So you can see I have an eraser in here as well. The Cutter B scissors and my favorite brush lettering pen, the Tombow Fuginosuke in the hard tip. I will say that I've noticed if this stands for too long, I do have trouble getting the thinner lines. It feels like it gets much inkier. So a lot of times I will leave this up here just kind of laying flat and I only take it down with me if I know I'm going to use it. I will mention the pouch won't close with the tombos like this. I do believe if it's less, you know, full, you can kind of angle them to close it, but for me it's fine. I'm not taking them anywhere. It's just staying right in here and this pretty much always stays down like that. Then I have this pouch here. I love this. This is by Sandy by the Lakeside. It's her large pouch. This handle is so wonderful and you can fit a ton in here. So in here right now, I have this case. I want to give away from Caffeine and Paper Co. And I got the case and these transparent squares. I was so happy to finally get to try some of Hannah's stuff. I love her style, but because I'm in Canada, shipping can be very, very high, which I know the shops don't set those prices, but it can definitely be prohibitive. So I was super excited to get these. And then I also have my tiny sheets from Planner Monkey Co. in here. And I love how they fit. And this whole case just fits right in this pouch. Right now, I also have my washi tapes that... I use the most often here. Try and adjust the lighting. So again, these are some of my favorite neutral washi tapes at the moment. So this is great. If I am doing a certain washi tape palette for the month, those washi tapes would go in here as well. 
This section here is where I keep more decorative supplies. So I have my reusable sticker book from Once More With Love. I have baby wipes in here and I have the stamps that I use on a regular basis. This is ancient. We've used it for a travel bag for, I would say 10 plus years, but since we are not traveling at all, I have repurposed it for my stamp set. So you guys have seen me use these a ton. These are my favorite alphabet stamps from Amazon. I will link those. I have my Versa Magic ink in black and this Altoids tin, whoops, which I've just put in these mini stamps from Carbon Stamps. And I hopefully use these regularly if I'm working out. So I like to keep these in here and there's still space in case I do want to rotate any stamps in or out. In this pocket here, I do keep an extra ruler and some number stencils for when I'm journaling in my cousin. You can see that this is empty. So I like to leave this empty ideally in case I want to add anything extra in. A lot of times I will just throw in my tumbler to help carry stuff down. I also keep a lot of supplies in these pouches. So these ones are A5 size and they fit really, really nicely in there. I also have these B6 ones, which obviously fit great as well. So if I know I want to be decorating my cousin pages or anything like that, then I just go ahead and toss whichever ones of these I would like to use right in there. And in this mesh pocket, I just had a couple of mini sticky note sets, which haven't even been opened yet. So hopefully I get to those soon. So I've tried to adjust the angle so that you can see the pockets better, but we have three flat pockets here and three shorter and gusseted pockets. So in the front here, I keep some whiteout, a Tombow dot adhesive and a glue stick. Post-its, kido washi strips, some hand cream in the winter, and oh, just some, some more post-its and a loose one. This, this is not a science, guys. It's just, you know, stuff I think I'll use the most and where I'd like it to go. So here I have some day and date washi. This was from Sojourner. I don't believe it's still available. I have these ones here, which I got at Jet Pens, and these ones here, which are also from Sojourner. I like to use these sometimes to date in my cousin, so that's why I keep them on the go with me. We've got some fine liners. These are the Tombow Mono ones, so the 01, 03, and 05. I just hook them right on there. There's still more space here but I think I only have these three and that's all I need in this tote. I keep my inked up fountain pens in here. This is a pouch from Sojourner. So we've got my Lamy Vista, Pilot Metropolitan and Twisby Eco. I am having so much fun playing with these guys. I don't know if you saw, but I posted an Instagram story about my first sheening ink and it's so much fun. Those are staying there. And here I have some highlighters. I have one mild liner. I think I have this mild liner here. Oh, because I'm using it to test smearing. And I also have these Stabilo Swing Cools. Love how that fits. In this pocket, I have this super cute sticker album from Planner Monkey Co. for all her tiny sheets that I already showed you. But I haven't had a chance to go through and put them in here. So I will do that probably one day while I'm watching baseball. Again, these are gusseted and they are taller. They're the same height as the flat ones on the long side. I keep a pair of scissors and this palette knife, which I use to cut washi tape. 
On this side, we just have the three flat pockets. So I have, it used to be my entire collection of washi was on washi cards, but I have not kept up. But I do still have, I would say probably 75% on it, as well as washi samples that I've been gifted. So I do like to keep these in here. That saves me from having to pull my drawers or anything if I want something specific. I have some Mile Liner brush pens here. This isn't the whole collection, it's just the colors that I think I will use. I've realized that I'm not a big fan of the fluorescent colors. They work really well and they're beautiful, but I do prefer darker colors and because I'm not highlighting with them, because I'm playing with them and doing lettering, it just doesn't show up as well as I'd like on most of my papers. <laughs> And on these two pockets, I keep my gel pens. So you can see these pockets are deep, like you can't even really see them once they're pushed all the way down, but that doesn't bother me at all. I can kind of peer into them. So here I just have the pens that I will sometimes use for journaling or my morning pages. And this whole pocket is all my Zebra Sarasa vintage and these are my favorite colors of gel pen. They're just beautiful. Although I will say this combo here, also a zebra at Sarasa, is something that Megan at Butterfly Knit shared. And I just love these three colors together. I don't know their official names, but it's a navy, a yellow, and a turquoise. That is my planner tote. It is super, super handy. It holds up really well so far. I'm trying to show you, it's not super saggy even though it is full, but I'm happy with the quality and I'm super, super happy with the function. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask down below. And I would love to know if you also use some sort of tote or cart that you move around with you or if you keep your planner goodies and setup contained in one dedicated area. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.